Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about flying with United because recently I booked a holiday with my girlfriend's family to fly to Costa Rica, this small place all the way down here, all the way from London. And when I was looking at tickets, right, you've either got basic economy with United Airlines or economy. And for me, I, I wanted to really confirm the differences between basic economy and economy. And I went on live chat and I clarified a few things and it took me a while to be comfortable with what the differences were because, right, let's go through it. So for example, um, and I hope this video helps you out. If you ever want to know the difference between basic economy and economy, then you're in the right place. So firstly, with economy, you get to choose your seat, which is a minor perk. Economy tends to be for a trip to Costa Rica, for example, about an extra hundred pounds, uh, as we can see right here. So you get to choose your seat and sit where you like within the economy region. Um, and you can choose to sit with your family, for example. Here's the other thing that you get, right? Um, and this video will also help you tell if it's a good deal for you. You get your first standard checked bag for free. It's up to 23 kilograms, and that can be a little suitcase of certain dimensions. And yeah, normally you have to pay 75 pounds extra on top of your basic economy ticket to get that um, luggage uh, for your for your flight if you're going basic economy. So you save about $75 or pounds by getting a free first standard checked bag. Obviously prices can change. Uh, and now for me, the thing and the reason why I actually prefer to fly economy over basic economy when I'm going on a very long haul flight, especially when, as you would have seen in my last video, there's no way to get a single for under a thousand pounds from Costa Rica home. So, um, you know, it's a very expensive flight. You can get a return for 500, crazy. I watched my other video, but yeah. Changing your flight is a fantastic perk of economy because what it means is that after about a, you know, a week of your holiday, if you're like, I want to stay out here longer, then you have the flexibility to simply click and change your flight hassle free and pay the difference of whatever the extra flight would be would cost you or, you know, it, maybe it'd be the same price. And this changing your flight is great. Um, it offers great flexibility essentially. And obviously you get full premier flying credit, which again is minor. So I think that if you're gonna have a suitcase and if there's a high chance of you looking to change your flight, then economy is probably the best thing to do. If you're an experienced traveler and you know you haven't got much luggage, you know there's not much opportunity cost of um, basically taking, uh, of basically um, you know having to buy another ticket if because you don't get to change your ticket with basic basic economy, um, then you'd be fine with basic economy. Another cool thing is that with basic economy, right, you actually do get a free checked bag, as you can see right here, if you're flying across the Pacific. So as we can see right here, the Pacific, you know, is right here. So as if you're flying, for, for example, from United States, Mexico, all the way to Japan, Thailand, Vietnam, Philippines, or vice versa, you're flying across the North or South Pacific, you would get a free checked bag. However, if you're doing a really long journey, for example, again, from United Kingdom, from all Europe, and you're going to South America, often they fly across the North Atlantic Ocean to United States and then fly down. So you wouldn't get a free checked bag with basic economy. You'd have to upgrade or just pay extra for the bag. So I hope that clears a few things up on the differences between economy and basic economy for United Airlines. I found that actually my um, my my flight cost wasn't any cheaper on Skyscanner compared to when I went to United directly this time. Um, and, you know, it is fairly simple to an extent, but it's always good to have clarity around what you get, what you don't get, what you can and can't do um, with basic economy versus economy. And if you're taking a bag anyway, it's probably worth the uh, the extra hundred pound for the upgrade and then 20 quid to, to you know, have flexible booking and free seats wherever you like. So thank you for watching this travels tips video. Leave a like, subscribe, catch you again soon.